Don is going to use Pound on the Pit Bluff. This is a intense battle between two titans in their own respective weight class. We have Pip Bluff using its mighty Pound attack from his little flipper. And the God Child himself, the Doof, using his all matter of tackle attack. Man, she got plenty fun. She must have been using the double pack. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam. This is HMO4 Gaming. Welcome you back to Brilliant Diamond here on the Nintendo Switch. In the last episode, we got our first Pokemon and we started our adventure. We ran into Rowan and Don and Danny and got our Dark Lord of the Sith Pokemon himself, Turtwig, otherwise known as Doth Revan. <laughs> excited for those remakes, by the way. Shout out to the anyone in the comments that uh, is excited as I am for the... Knights of the Old Republic remakes, but before that, I didn't check our boy's uh, nature. He is sassy. Uh, Meta Lake Security, level 5, likes bitter fruit. Yeah, I mean, he is a little little chonky boy, which sassy actually works out best for us, at least, at, you know, from what we could have gotten. We could have gotten, like, um, modest or something. Modest probably would be fine, too, but Turtle Week's more of a physical attacker than a special. But we weren't winning any speed battles, so um, this is the best outcome with our special defense being up. Tackle Withdraw Leaf Edge, because we got the level 7 just from traveling to the city. Before we get started, please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. And I did mention it's kind of a Nuzlocke, and we're going to get into nuzlocke right now. No, I'm not doing it again. Oh, that's right. Adam, I haven't shown you how to catch Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one so you can watch me, okay? Do I have the option? Nope, I just have to watch. You encountered a wild Badoof. Go, Pippila. And Dawn is going to use Pound on the Pit Bluff. This is a intense battle between two titans in their own respective weight class. We have Piplup using its mighty pound attack from his little flipper, and the god child himself, the Doof, using his all matter of tackle attack. Man, she got plenty five. She must have been using the double pack. <laughs> she must have been using the double pack and getting those hundred free Pokeballs. Well, there's a, they give you two codes. They give you one code for one game and a hundred for the other, but, you know, that's beside the point, but, yeah, job done. Oh, professional of me. Uh, see? Isn't it neat? Actually, it's better if you lower the target's HP more than I did. I kind of just faced a god, so... It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible, lies. Healthy Pokemon, it's very difficult to catch. Oh, and Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something. I don't know. Okay, Adam, I'll start. I'll give you some Pokeballs. You gave me some Pokeballs. Did you give me, like, five? Like, normal people? If you have a lot of Pokemon with you, it'll be safe for long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having Pokemon friends along the way. Okay, I need to get going. Bye. All right, see you later. All right, so our Nuzlocke has officially begun. Because now that we have Pokeballs... We will be, you know, getting our encounters. So, without further ado, let's meet our first party member. You really can't go wrong, even if it is a Starly or a Bidoof, or even another character that might enter the battle. Nope, it's Bidoof. <laughs> but Barrel's actually not that bad, and with the Nuzlocke, we're gonna need all the help we can get. So, Bidoof, you know, please don't get crit and die. Okay. Badoof used his almighty tackle attack. Alright. So, we're gonna use our poke ball. No no use in I didn't, probably didn't even need to weak him, but you know, just she gave us twenty? What the hell's the point of them giving you a hundred pokeballs that when you buy the stupid double pack when it's just gonna give you twenty regardless? Plus anyway, is anyone ever gonna use all those pokeballs? You might as well just sell it, but whatever. Badoof said it. With nerves of steel, nothing can perturb it. It is more agile and active than it appears. I think they rewritten that based on all the memes. Come on now. It has nerves of steel. 
Oh, it's a female. Uh, nerves of steel. We're gonna name him, name her Steel. Steel has been added to your party. All right. And now that we have our Bidoofa counter, that makes our uh, ones over here as easy as can be. So Route 201. Because we already got 202. This is 201. And it is a Starly, as you can imagine. <laughs> Ooh. Well, this is, yeah, this is uh, not very effective, so this shouldn't take him out. I am not going to try another one. <laughs> All right. Let's use our bag, use our Pokeballs. One, two, three. Oh, I thought it was about to break out. Gotcha, Starly was caught. All right. Starly's data was at it. They flock in great numbers, they're small, they flap their wings with great power. Um... I just thought of the final evolution, and this is, uh, this is what I came up with. <laughs> so we got Death Star, that's Starly. We're getting a bunch of ladies added to the party. Alright. I don't think there's another encounter at Lake Akurity that we can actually get right now, because I think all that's over there is Bidoose and Starlies. But let's check out our, our girls over here. Brave Nature. Attack up, speed down. Again, I don't think Bidoof was really that fast anyway, but attack is nice. Gra nice and tackle, uh, tackle and growl. Naughty Nature. Special defense. Attack up. Going to be destroying all the fools. Using all of those acrobatics. I think it earns acrobatics. Something like that. Nice and tackle and growl. Alright. And that's our Pokemon for right now. Let's head back to the Pokemon Center and continue on our route. Before we run into another Bidoof, that is. So, this, uh, this was actually good because I wanted to test something. So, it says that the EXP share is always on. So, let's see how much it's always on now that we actually have a party. Okay, use Growl. Should be able to take him out next turn. I mean, that would make grinding a lot easier, but... Eh, I, I'm a purist. I like training one by one. The XP share kind of makes it OP. Alright, let's see. Okay. Okay. Alright. And I guess you don't have really an option to turn that off, so that makes grinding a little bit easier. That just means that the episodes will be able to come at your way faster and more furious. So let's head on in, save, and head on out. Now they're all saved up and healed up, let's continue on. Alright, Route 202. There was another Pokemon, I think you get Shinx in this area, that I really wish we got a hold of, but what can you do, huh? And this is our first battle against... It's probably not Youngster Joey, it's Youngster something. Pokemon trainer! Happen to be a Pokemon trainer? Our eyes met, so maybe was battle. Our eyes. We certainly did meet. <laughs> Youngster Tristan sent out Starly. Go, Darth Revan. Take out this pathetic Starly and wipe it from the face of the galaxy. Tackle. It really made the music upbeat. I gotta give it that. Tackle attack. Your opponent Starly fated. Poor Starly. All the levels. Jesus. I really hope they didn't mess with, like, the levels in this game to make it super easy. Because, yeah, grinding is eliminated, but I really hope that it doesn't get crazy with, you know, how the XP works. But it seems like it's not evenly distributed, just everyone gets the same, maybe, it kind of looks like, but who knows. 
Um. I don't. Oh wait, our boy's level two. Hold the phone. Hold. Oh, he's level three now, but still, they're not strong enough yet. I also have to watch how I'm doing this. I'm gonna mean too casual. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. I'm like the nut block has started. This thing I want to do is lose a Pokemon this early. We then we be. You know what? Like, look at this god out here. How the hell are we gonna beat it? Right? Alright, Leaf Edge. I wanna say Leaf Edge has a chance to crit. I think it's just a less powerful Vine Whip, I wanna say, what Leaf Edge is. It's obviously Stab, so obviously it's the move to use. Getting our boys up to par. Natalia sent out Bidoof. So obviously right now in the beginning of the game, we're just going through all the, you know, nonchalant battles, you know, level two versus level three. Who's going to, oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm being too uh, loosey goosey. But yeah, um, obviously these battles aren't very intense. There's really not much to explain. Um, there's no crazy strat moves using. There's no, you know, uh, status inflictions happening. Yeah, sorry, I kicked your ass, lady. Um, it's just one-on-ones going on right now. Nothing too crazy. Let's heal up so we can stop being, you know, crazy with our um, Turtwig over here. We don't want to lose the Dark Lord himself too early. We want to hopefully carry him through the entire game. Let's have a Pokemon battle. <laughs> I'm gonna win. And if I don't win, I'm gonna call you a loser. Because that's how that works. <laughs> You were challenged by youngster Logan. Ah, oh, what we could have had. That just gives us more opportunity to get them, because I think that even the routes um, past Jubilife City still just have... Oh, and he's got Intimidate. No. Everything in the early game is physical for the most part, so having a Pokemon with Intimidate is good. This early in the game, at least. And into the late game. What do you mean? You just keep switching out the ding with Intimidate on a Pokemon that has high attack. Case in point, the champions. Uh, Garchomp would be a good idea. <laughs> if it could survive. I really hope they didn't nerf Cynthia. If Cynthia got nerfed. Sad. I want her to punish us. What? Alright. Steel's level 5. Kind of looked like it didn't make it all of a sudden. They just kind of pushed it, but whatever. Oh, we learned Defense Girl. Getting up those uh, steel ball we got going on. You like wow? Give me that money. All right. We're up two o two. Are you? No, you're not. You're just telling us about items. Some Pokemon come in the morning, some come at night. Keep going the ride till we've seen them every last one. I hope my mama doesn't care. <laughs> Also, uh, I'm thinking about it because I thought that was a shiny. If we encounter a shiny, even if we have already gotten a encounter in that specific area, we are still going to catch that shiny because it is so super duper rare. Shiny claws, some people play with it, some people don't. I wouldn't see why you wouldn't play with it. I mean, you know, you can't help that you got a shiny. Might as well use it. Ugh. All right, we made it to Jubilife. Oh God, and it's dawn. Oh my God, she had an expression. What is this Pokemon game with an expression? Even though it, it was like, and then it immediately went back to default. But whatever. Hi, Adam. Are you catching Pokemon? Uh, I think you feel a lot safer you're catching more. It's Jubilife. There's a trainer school, which, well, you know, you should visit it and get some tips on Pokemon. Man, I would probably kill you. Oh yeah, Danny went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, bye. Well, you know what the very first thing we gotta do is? Where are they at? Where are my boys? Where are my boys at? Hey, bruh, look at that nose. <laughs> Hi there. You should stick around. We're doing a Pokedex competition soon. Before it starts, I think you should brush up at the train. Why does everyone tell me to go to the trainer school? I don't know if we're gonna have to face Danny in there, but I'm gonna heal up first, then head over to the um, trainer school. All right, at the trainer school, we have arrived. Ooh, look at this girl with the green hair. Hello. Oh, you're just become a trainer, did you? You should look up topics that you're not 
familiar with. I'm like, what? Who? Me? You don't know who you're talking to. Barry. Barry. Danny, what are you doing? Hey, Adam. Did you come here to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was on the blackboard. After all, it's a trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Adam, what brings you here? You got something for me? I'm slowing down. Sorry, I was happy to see you. So, what's this? Score to town map! Uh, why are there two in here? Uh, I guess you can have one. Here you go. Uh, well, according to town map, I guess, Old Borg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'll be perfect for raising Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to become the greatest trainer, after all. See you around. Oh, he's not gonna fight us? Alright. Does anyone fight us in here? How about you kids? You fight us, right? Battling is the best way to learn. Can you get battle with you? Go, my Pokemon, go! <laughs> I kind of figure they'd battle this. You were challenged by School Board Harrison. School Board! Abra -ab. Abra -ab. That's legit how he sounds. If you don't believe me, go look it up. Alright, we're facing an Abra -ab. No running for a trainer battle. Well, he can't really do much to us. Um, I mean, since the XP doesn't really matter, I can just hit him, whatever. For whatever reason, I thought that was a um, bug type move, and I was about to say, well, there goes the run. Oh, well, get off my screen. <laughs> but I was like, oh, shit. But I think charge is electric. I thought it was bug. I was think I think I was thinking of signal beam, and I was just like, level nine. All right, level six and level five for Steel and Death Star. Death Star, learn quick attack. You defeated Schoolboy Harrison. Oh snap! That's how it is then. May did I teach my Pokemon charge beam instead of signal beam? Damn, it's hard to win if you don't know some people Pokemon to choose. Yeah, I know. Hello, I just become a friend with my Pokemon. I'm not sure if I can do this properly. May we battle? Sure. I need to try the thing before I learn, before I forget them. All right, the little girl just turned into a demon. You were challenged by school girl Christine. School girl Christine sent out Abra Ab! Abra Ab! What are these kids doing with Abras? Can I get an Abra? Can your boy get an Abra over here, please? Okay. Oh! Darth Revan's dodging! He's saying, screw you! Oh, this one's got some defense on it. Alright, now we hit. So it doesn't really matter. Not very effective. Goodbye, Abra Ab. Yo, imagine if you roll if Don rolled up with her Pipla. <laughs> it hits super effective. I mean you get a shot and you don't take it out. The second charge beam is gonna kill you. I had no idea that did I have charge beam in the original game? Cause I see Abra, I think of just teleport. You know, my boomer head back in the day. I'm pretty really confident that you should do pretty good, but I'm completely impressed by how tough you are. If you like, talk to my friend and get some technical machines from him. Okay. We learned about Pokemon types today. Uh, grass week the fire, fire week the wild, and wild week the grass. I think that's how it goes. Who's got the TMs? I wrote an essay in my notebook on a man trip Pokemon trainer. Pokemon are smart enough to use items they're holding, but they won't know how to use them. Human like items like questions and dots. Hello? Do you have the techno machine? Just become a trainer, do you? I just told you all this stuff, so go away, please. Get away, get out of school, bye! Alright, now we can do what we wanted to do. Oh, you're a Pokemon trainer! But don't you have a Pokedge yet? Pokedge is short for Pokemon Watch! Oh my, you are a rare case indeed! You see, I invented now manufacture Pokeatches. Capitalism. Not only that, I am now conducting the Pokeatch promotional campaign. All you need to do is find the three clowns in Jubilife City. If you find them all, I'll give you a very own Pokeatch. 
It's like a free sample, except I'll be tracking your location and all your pictures and all your loved ones and everything and well-being and your blood type and your semen and I'll have all your organs. Thank you. Hi, the potion of Captain Clown. Let's roll out my question. Does your Pokemon grow by defeating others and gain XP? Yes, it does. Ding dong, the witch is dead. You're absolutely correct. Pokemon go stronger by defeating other Pokemon in battle. Some Pokemon even change into different Pokemon through a process of evolution. Do not tell the Catholic Church about it. Here you go, Pokemon Coupon. Coupon one. Go away, please. <laughs> I have to go scare more kids. Hi, I'm a Pokemon Campaign Clown. Let's roll out my question. You guys remember Whitney's Mill Tank? Roll out. Get it? Got it? Good. Can your Pokemon hold an item? Yes, it can. A Pokemon may hold a single item. Some Pokemon even affect as soon as they are held by a Pokemon. Berries are eaten by Pokemon is necessary during battle. Here you go, Pokecatch Coupon number three. See you later, bruh. And the last one's kind of hiding over here. Hi, I'm the Pokecatch Coupon Clown. Let's roll out the question. Just like Pokemon, do the moves of Pokemon have types? Yes, they do. They're all yeses across the board. I kind of remember there being a question to throw you off to hit no, but I guess they changed it maybe. I don't know, it's been 15 years. And 12 years, I think, since Platinum. We're old, damn. Hey, buddy. Okay, let me count my coupons. Let's pull out my Poke Edge here and one, two, three, bravo. I say bravo. <laughs> I'll return these coupons and present you with this Pokemon Watch or Poke Edge for sure. Now y'all can look at the bottom screen and click on it using your stylus. Wait, what year is it? What are we doing now? You can add apps to your Pokedex to make it even more versatile. Press the R button and try it out. That's what we're doing nowadays, the R button. What about the stylus? Oh, damn. They we, we don't have stylus anymore. Damn. <laughs> Pokecatch, press R to open the Pokecatch and control by using the touch screen. Hold down the R button to close it. Thank you, Brea. Oh, man, I feel old. Because <laughs> I remember just sitting on the bottom screen and you can see your Pokemon click on them, the cry, the health. Then you can scroll it. It gives you a calculator for some reason. It tells you the steps that you currently had for hatching eggs. What does it give us? Okay. 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 Yeah, there we go. We still got our calculator. Calculator, you know, um, you know, want to feel old, you know, in 2021. Yeah, that's what it is right now. And I think, you know, oh, wait, hold on. We messed up. Yeah, 2007, I think, you know, and, uh, oh, I'm dumb. Hold on. Hold on. We're determined to do this joke. All right, 2001 minus, <laughs> I think it was 2007. 14, we're fucking old. Sorry, everyone born in the 90s. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Oh, there's our steps. You can reset that. Here's our boys, and now you, actually you can see them. <laughs> Imagine how cool this was back in the day. You can sit there, like, actually click them and see them on the bottom screen at all times. And now it's not. And now you can see. Oh, yep. You gotta be able to see it. Gotta double tap. Got, got to double tab it. Got to see what time it is. <sighs> just seeing it on just a screen. It, it does not do it justice. If you grew up with this, this is such nostalgia. And damn. <laughs> but that's cool. That's cool. Oh, we stay up in the right corner? Could that not stay up there? Does that go away? No? I guess it didn't go away on the DS either, but whatever. All right, where are we going now? Um, I think we go up here and get another encounter. Are you a person? Yes, you are. I think we'll get another encounter before we uh, head on to the other route to meet our friend Denny and head on our way to Orborg City. Oh no, it's Vadoof. Leaf Edge. Defense Curve. Doo -doo. Na, 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 na. 
Now, a lot of these, like I said, are... Well, I guess that is our low speed. <laughs> that is our low speed coming into play right there. And then I want to know is, like, how does EV training in a game work when it's nothing but um, XP share? Like, do you just get, like, zero EVs? Like, I'm gonna get all- I'm gonna get XP from this Badoo. So, does the Pokemon who defeat it get the EVs? Or does everyone get the EVs? Dr. Raven Learn Growth! Growth's kinda useless because we don't have a special move. <laughs> so, I mean, it's kinda pointless. And I don't think he learns really that many, um, special moves. I shouldn't have battled in the first place. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. Alright, so this might be filled again with a bunch of Bidoofs and Starlies, so I'll cut until we, well, I guess I can, eh, I'll cut till we get to an actual encounter. I spoke too soon. That is our actual encounter. Which, if we didn't have Turtwig, would be a pretty good move, or a pretty good move, pretty good Mon, but Bidoo is a pain in the ass to evolve into Roserade. Not Roserade, Ros Roselia. Um, Cause it only evolves with high friendship in the morning. Has to be in the morning. Doesn't matter how much it love you. If it's not in the morning, it's not gonna evolve for you. Um, which is annoying. It's frail as hell. It's a grass poison type, which will get bodied by everything. But you know, in the event that Turtwig takes a dirt nap unless the dark lord of the sith dies you know we'd be pretty screwed um i couldn't think of anything so we're just gonna name him frank <laughs> frank the badoo hi i'm frank the badoo nice to meet you all right and i think before we can get another encounter inside the cave is this mount cornet no this is revenge path and I know we don't have any Rock Smash yet, but that doesn't stop us from getting an encounter. And it, I think Geodude, Zubats, and Psyducks, maybe, inside here? What do we got? Zubit! Actually, Zubit is a very good encounter. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's Zubat. How the hell can this be a good encounter? Crobat is very good. Why did I hit withdraw? <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, and he outspeed. Well, yeah, it's, um, Zubats are very fast, so of course he's gonna outspeed. All right. So I don't really want to kill this thing. I don't want to run either. That would be very bad to do. So let's just catch it. Have our Zubit. Three. All right. So I thought, because I want to keep the theme going, I thought of another Sith Lord that I think we should add. And it, I think it fits perfectly. Let me just double check the spelling. Our Zubat shall be known as one of the original Dark Lords of the Sith. He shall be known as Maga Ragnos. Which sounds very bad. Oh, and it just fit. So our Sark Lord of the Sith is Marco Ragnos. And if you don't know, Marco Ragnos was a male half-breed Dark Lord of the Sith who lived during the Ragnos era. I shouldn't say that. Let me get you the actual background of Marco Ragnos. Because he actually does look like a Zubat. I will put him on screen probably and show you. So Margaragnos is a male half-breed Dark Lord of the Sith who lived during the time of the First Sith Empire. Born long before the Battle of Ravin, he dueled the many Dark Lords of the Sith and controlled the Sith Empire. Definitely check out Wikipedia if you want to know more about Margaragnos. He's a badass. Alright, and now that we have a pretty decent party, and I can press our uh, buttons up here and have our boys up on the screen. So we got Darth Revan the Turtwig, Steel the Bidoof, Death Star the Starly, Frank the Bidoof, 
in Marco Ragnos, the Zubat. I think that's where we will wrap up with today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. And until next time, I have been Adam, this has been HMO4 Gaming, and this has been Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. It's almost messed me up. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have yourselves a great day. Bye.